after Trump put screws to sneaky Diane, she's caught red-handed working for traitors. Senator Dianne Feinstein released closed-room testimony from the Senate Intel hearing on the Trump-Russia case, except she had no right to do so. However, that's not as bad as lying about having a cold as her reason why she released the hotly debated testimony of Fusion GPS CEO Glenn Simpson, who produced the bogus Russian dossier. Trump put the screws to Feinstein, dubbing the California senator Sneaky Diane, and now, she's been caught red-handed working with traitors. Senator Dianne Feinstein has some explaining to do. Why did the 84-year-old senator lie twice about her reason for unilaterally releasing the closed-door testimony of Fusion GPS CEO Glenn Simpson? First, she said she felt pressure to release it. Then, she contradicted herself 24 hours later and said that she had a cold and wasn't thinking straight, so she released it. Now, she tells the truth, and it's a major bombshell. CNN reported, Feinstein says she's sorry to Grassley for not giving him a heads up about the release of the Fusion GPS transcript. I meant to tell him, and I didn't have a chance to tell him, and that concerns me, she told us. I just got pressured, and I didn't do it. One day later, Daily Caller reports, Feinstein, 84, expressed regret on Wednesday for keeping Senator Grassley in the dark, and suggested it was because of a bad cold. The one regret I have is that I should have spoke, sick, with Senator Grassley before, she told NBC News. And, I don't make an excuse, but I've had a bad cold and maybe that slowed down my mental facilities, sick, a little bit. What? Obviously, Sneaky Diane is hiding something. Why did she release it, and why is she lying about her reasons for releasing it? President Donald Trump weighed in, tweeting, the fact that sneaky Dianne Feinstein, who has on numerous occasions stated that collusion between Trump, Russia has not been found, would release testimony in such an underhanded and possibly illegal way, totally without authorization, is a disgrace. Must have tough primary. We know the president is well aware that it is a bit more than her upcoming primary that is vexing sneaky Diane. Finally, the senator's attorneys must have warned her that if she is caught lying about communications regarding releasing the Simpson testimony, she'd be in big trouble. Her only problem is that the truth proves she is colluding with traitors. Feinstein told Daily Caller that she released the Fusion GPS testimony because the Fusion GPS lawyers told her to do so. What? Yes, we can't make this stuff up. Daily Caller's report said, California Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein told the Daily Caller that Fusion GPS lawyers asked her to release company co-founder Glenn Simpson's testimony transcript. The report goes on, she released the testimony Tuesday before consulting with Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley, which she told the D.C. she regrets. Feinstein is the top Democrat on the committee. Feinstein said, we were written to by the lawyers of the company asking that it be released, and the reason, of course, is because it has been used by rumor and innuendo and falsity so much that the time came for people to see exactly what was said. Okay, so, Diane Feinstein, one of the top Democrats sitting on the Intel committee, buckles to the demands of this shady firm, Fusion GPS. Why in the world would she even consider anything a private, outside? Shady Firm wants her to do. She knows all the facts about who these lowlifes are, and she knows they colluded with the deep state rats at the FBI and DOJ to produce the totally discredited Russian dossier. Glenn Simpson is part of the cabal who spied on Donald Trump and his campaign illegally, and Sneaky Diane is taking marching orders from him and his attorneys. Of course, we can only speculate why Feinstein would open herself up to such scrutiny marking herself as part of that cabal. Why did she release Glenn Simpson's testimony and not anyone else's? Insiders, who have been spot on reporting on this coup attempt, say Fusion GPS wants to make sure future witnesses align their testimony with Simpson's, so all the rats would be on the same page. If you're going to lie, you'd better get all the lies straight. Still, this does not answer the question as to what they have on a lay sneaky Diane to make her play ball and out herself like this.
This is just another example of how deep this bogus Russia Trump investigation goes. Those traitors in the FBI and DOJ are working really hard to cover up their crimes, and their big problem is that it's way too late, too late.